Myanmar's military has admitted that troops abused prisoners in Rakhine State after a video went viral on social media showing soldiers bashing detainees. The video appears to show plainclothes men punching and kicking handcuffed and blindfolded detainees. The five were arrested on suspicion of being linked to the Arakan Army, a rebel group fighting for more power for ethnic Buddhists. Now, for more on this, we're joined by our correspondent, Dong Wai Kit. Uh, for more, Wai Kit, uh, do get us up to speed then. It's a rare admission of wrongdoing from the powerful Myanmar military, isn't it? Indeed, Steve, a, a rare admission of wrongdoing, but bear in mind that this is not the first time that the Myanmar army has come out to say that they're in the wrong. If you recall, there was a very prominent case back in 2018 when the Myanmar army found seven of its soldiers guilty of killing 10 Rohingya men in a, a village in Rakhine State. Now, they were sentenced to 10 years of hard labor, but I must also quickly add that after they were sent to jail, shortly after that, they were freed because because they appealed against their ver uh, against the, the verdict and the Myanmar military chief had pardoned them. Now, in recent years, though, we are seeing signs that the Myanmar army is showing some form of accountability or transparency to soldiers' wrongdoings. For instance, they've made very public that they've formed uh, a, a court of inquiry and that specializes into looking at soldiers' wrongdoings in Rakhine State in the midst of their fight, whether it's with the Arakan army or with the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army. And it will be very significant to watch the developments uh, on various reasons. One, the world stage, you know, because this is a chance for the Myanmar army who has been accused of genocide and war crime to respond to a people who have accused them of those allegations. And two, in Myanmar, domestically, there is still ongoing violence and conflicts and there will be injustice. And in Myanmar, under the law, it is the Myanmar army chief who has the final say in terms of military justice. So it will be interesting to see where this is all heading. Why can speaking of the world stage, we know that Myanmar will be under the spotlight at the UN Security Council this week. Do you think this video will have an impact there? Very unlikely, Glenda. Um, the UN Security Council meeting is closed doors, which means to say journalists like myself will not get, uh, 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 you know, the agenda of what they're going to be discussing. And even after they are dis uh, they finish discussion, the transcripts will not necessarily be made known to the public because it's simply closed doors. Uh, having said that, the real context to this meeting is really because in April, a Myanmar man who was working for WHO, he was killed while he was on duty in Rakhine State. And that was, of course, because of the crossfire between Arakan Army and the Myanmar military. This, of course, raises concern of security issues in Rakhine State uh, in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic. So that is the context to the meeting. Coming back to this video, uh, although the Myanmar army has arrested soldiers and, of course, has looked at the footage and said, yes, this is legitimate, although they have already done their part, we have not seen the investigation and the outcome of the investigation. So bearing this in mind, even if this topic were to be discussed at the UN Security Council meeting, it's unlikely to have a big impact on the discussions. All right, thanks for that update. Nyong Wai Kid speaking to us with the latest on the situation in Rakhine.